Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll study port 3 of 8051. Port 3 of 8051 can be used for input and output operations. So whenever it is used for input operation, a 1 has to be written onto the latch and whenever it is used for output operations, a 0 has to be written onto latch. I request everyone to watch a video on port 1 of 8051 to understand input and output operations of uh, port 3 in much detail wherein in that video I have explained input and output operations in great detail. Along though port 3 can be configured for input and output operations that is not how the normal it is being used for. Along with that it also has got other functionalities. Port 3 is bit addressable. That means I can address each and each and every bit of port 3. So these are uh, the additional functionalities. Bit 0 of bit 0 and bit 1 of port 3 can be used for serial data communications. And the SFR associated with that is yes buffer. Similarly, pin number 2 and 3 of port 3 can be used for uh, external interrupts. And the SFRs associated with them are TCON or the TCON. And pin numbers 4 and 5 can be used for timers. And SFRs associated with them is TMOD. Similarly, pin number 6 and 7 of port 3 can be used for read and write signal whenever we are accessing external memory. So, this is all about port 3 of 8051. To brief it up, very much similar to port 1, port 3 can also be used for input and output operations. Along with that, port 3 has got additional functionalities. Each and every bit of port 3 can be addressed, that is it is bit addressable. So all 8 pins have got 8 different operations. So this is all about port 3 of 8051. Thanks for watching.